Uh, greetings, everyone. Are concluding the discussion on the NC policy on migration as adopted by its national conference. Uh, we have discussed it in three parts, and we said in the last video that as we conclude, we'll focus on the Zimbabwe exemption permits. We want to point out in this video that from the onset, the Zimbabwe exemption permit, or when it started as the documentation project of Zimbabwe in 2010, DZP, then in the Zimbabwe special permit in 2014, and uh, uh, in 2017, the Zimbabwe exemption permit is at EPIN, was not part of the Immigration Act. It was granted under special circumstances. So the policy document on migration does not speak to the Zimbabwe exemption permits or its future because it is right to document any person under any circumstances. If the minister and the government of South Africa feels that uh, there is a special need to document a special group of people, uh, uh, the minister and government will document such individuals. For instance, we have people from Mozambique that ran away from the war uh, uh, in the 70s. These people are residing in South Africa, uh, but closer to the Mozambican border ever since these people are not documented. They are basically stateless. The ANC police document which we have, which we send to you, does recommend that such individuals can be documented. So it is the minister who then, under special circumstances, will say there are people that live alongside the border who are on the South African side who might have roots from Mozambique or Swatini or even Zimbabwe, the vendor people who are under a traditional leader who can be documented because it is proven that they reside in that particular area for years. They've been part of that community for years since the 70s, but because for one reason or another, they could not be documented and these people are stateless. So the policy does empower uh, the government uh, uh, to document such individuals. But the policy does not speak to whether the Zimbabwe exemption permit should be renewed or should not be renewed. Because like I'm saying, it was never part of the Immigration Act from the onset. In 2010, under special circumstances, as provided for uh, 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 in the Immigration Act, the minister exercised uh, uh, her powers in 2010, it was the minister Ngosaza Nazuma, uh, getting approval from the South African cabinet. She exercised her powers uh, to grant special permits to Zimbabweans, special permits to the people of Lesotho in 2014. I think 2014 it was Minister Kikaba and the renewal of a DZP to ZSP in 2014. Then the, the late Minister Professor Shengi Mkize then he exercised the uh, powers granted to her then under the Immigration Act to issue the ZEP. So we know that as we were discussing the ANC policy document on migration, uh, Questions have been raised by comrades to say, what is the decision by the ANC? The cabinet, as it did on the 21st, on the 24th of November, 2021, decided not to renew. But if there are compelling reasons, and the cabinet believes that, and it is convinced, that uh, maybe the decision it took at that particular time on the 24th of November 2021, which was announced on the 25th of November 2021, was not in the national interest. Remember, the document says any do document that you issue to migrants, uh, it must also be of national interest and also as part of South African contribution to the Pan-African Agenda. What is Pan-African Agenda? A, a building a peaceful and prosperous Africa. So if the cabinet feels that uh, 
Uh, for one reason or another, maybe it was not in the national interest and does not contribute uh, uh, to good neighborliness. It can then review that position. It does not need uh, 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 to enact an act or a clause in the Immigration Act to say, yes, you remove the special permits or, or you, uh, 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 you do not remove the special permits. It, it does not work like that. But it understands that under special circumstances, that's why it is still there, that under special circumstances, the minister or the director general can uh, uh, document anyone. Then the question, therefore, that arises with what is happening uh, in South Africa uh, is that uh, is it in the national interest to renew this map exemption premise? This is where we are. Uh, we will talk about what we see happening uh, in Cosmo City, where migrants have been turned away from clinics. Uh, I saw some video. I can't recall whether it was in Soweto, Bram Fisher area, where uh, hawkers were being chased away by some elements there. We will discuss all these issues in the next video. So to conclude on the Zimbabwe exemption permit, it's up to the South African cabinet. But the South African cabinet uh, 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 is made up of uh, people that are deployed by the African National Congress. So if the African National Congress would say, we think uh, 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 we propose that the cabinet should consider its decision on the Zimbabwe exemption permit, it will certainly do so. Uh, we are at the end of February, well, 25th of February today, uh, uh, about four months or so, five months left, before the expire of grace period. There is also a court case that is coming mid-April. So to be on the safe side, uh, just to be on the safe side so that we do not mislead, if you cannot manage to move to another visa, prepare to relocate. That's, that's the advice. If you have been going through all the requirements and uh, you think you do not qualify, prepare to relocate. Uh, 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 we will start the process of engaging the labor department and so forth for uh, worker benefits, your profit and fund and so on, so that when you relocate, you do not leave your monies behind. But if then there's a decision to review, and then make a different announcement, that is to say to renew, uh, 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 that would be a, a bonus. But under the circumstances, and based on uh, what was being discussed at the NC conference and uh, what uh, the NC structures are discussing at the moment, our advice is that if you do not qualify, uh, 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 start thinking about the plan B. Uh, you not want uh, on the 30th of June to say, uh, 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 I don't know what to do. Uh, think of plan B. I'm moving to conclusion because uh, I think 8 o'clock now will be having load shedding in our area and it will affect our internet. Comrade Apple Belly says, hi, Mr. Mapena. Is there a chance for us low skilled workers to move to mainstream visas or I must just not waste my money with these bogus agents. This is exactly what I'm saying, uh, Comrade Apeli Peli. There are people out there that will say will assist you to apply, right? Any person that assists you to apply must ensure that you meet the requirements as spelled out. We said from the onset that uh, a person that assists you to apply does so on the basis that you might not have access to internet or you must be having difficulty in completing the form online and then the person will assist you. You cannot go to an agent and they pay money and they think that because you paid money to an agent, when your application is received at the Department of Home Affairs through an agent, 
therefore you are going to be treated differently from the from another person who has the same qualifications as yourself it does not work like that so when it get to head office those that look into the applications they look against the requirements whether you meet the requirements as spelled out if you do not meet the requirements doesn't matter whether you've paid 1500 you have paid 6000 whatever amount you'll have paid it does not matter so that's the situation comrade uh, this is why on our part we are saying the advice is if you know that by the 25th of, of January 2023 you do not qualify to move to another permit, prepare yourself to relocate so that by the 1st of July you are not in South Africa so that when you want to come and visit you are not declared undesirable. Uh, Comrade Pekinko Singh of Rights, good morning. You will be surprised that it would be extended in June to December. As this would be like a PDP, which is used by tax drivers. Ian Kama was ruthless to Zimbos in Botswana. Now he's a refugee. Uh, Com Comrade Pekinko Singh of I'm talking about uh, 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 what is in black and white. I'm not a prophet myself. So I cannot read what will happen in the future. I cannot foretell the future. Right, so I speak from a, a, a realistic position to say this is what is there currently. This is why I said if it happens that uh, 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 there will be a, a change of heart from the South African cabinet and they grant the extension, we will celebrate. But I'll be fooling people and they're misleading in that matter as a leader to say, don't worry. Uh, 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 this thing is going to be extended. I have no evidence to such. So I don't want to speak like a church prophet and say this is going to be extended. No. I'm saying uh, the last announcement that we had was that uh, the grace period is extended up to 30th of June 2023. That was the last announcement. There is no any other announcement. So I cannot talk about the uh, what is likely to happen because I have no evidence and I cannot speak to the court case because I do not know how the court is going to deal with this issue and what its judgment is going to be. So this is why I'm saying there's a court case coming up in mid-April and we do not know whether government is going to change this position. But let's then assume that the government does not change this position and also that the court case that uh, the court does not rule in favor of the ZEP holders. So what will be left is that uh, the grace period will be ending on the 30th. And uh, this is why we're saying, if you do not qualify, prepare yourself to relocate. But if there's going to be a decision, every ZEP holder will be celebrating. Please write your comments uh, in the comment section. If you have questions to ask, uh, you, you can ask. Uh, in the comment section, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and circulate uh, this video. Otherwise, goodbye.